Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. Today and in the next two weeks I'm going to carve such a cutlery set. A knife, a fork and a spoon. After so many years bushcrafting it's still a special experience for me to cooking on a campfire and eating outdoors. With the self-made cutlery, it's even more authentic, more intensive. It makes more fun than eating with a cutlery, with stainless steel cutlery from a supermarket. Don't underestimate this little aspect. And I like the look of this cutlery. Don't forget. The ice is always first. For this project I take hazelwood because hazelwood is easy to find in my area and hazelwood isn't toxic. But you can also take birch or brasswood or uh, other wood sorts. At the end of the day you, you, have to t you have to work with the material you find in your specific surrounding. So let's start with the knife. For those who are thinking it's a bit silly to carve a knife with a knife, let me explain you why. Basically, I like to use my knife for crafting and not for eating. Because if you eat with your knife, the knife becomes dirty, greasy and dull. And if you carve a own knife, a own wooden knife, this makes a lot of fun and you can spear your main blade. First step, take a hazel log about 25 centimeters long, 4 centimeters in, dia in the diameter and split it in the half. After, flatten the splitting surface a little bit and carve out the pith that you don't have a weak point. Like this. Next step, draw in the desired shape of your knife. After, flatten the round side that you get something like a board.
After that, I carve the row shape of the knife. Now the row shape is done, let's start to flatten the blade part. On the cutting edge, I have a thickness about one millimeter. The next step is to draw in the teeth. For drawing the serration, I mark every second spike of my wood saw. Now I transfer the marks on the second side. After that I start to, to carve the serrations like this. After, cut out the serrations with the small blade, like this. Now do the same on the second side.
So both sides are done. Now I make some, some small adjustments that you can feel the sharpness if you go over with your finger. So this step need a little bit patient. But now I can feel the sharpness and I'm happy with the result like this. Okay, 95% of the work is done. Last 5% is to make a hole for, for a cord and to make some small styling adjustments. Okay, now the knife is finished. I'm pretty happy with this design. And I would say it's quite sharp. Now let's test how this knife performs. So <laughs> let's start with the egg. works. Cheese. Mm. No problem. Then uh, meat. This is chicken. Mmm, delicious. A sausage. Easy. Um, bread. This will be hard. Okay. Bread doesn't really work, but uh, for that you can take the normal knife. So, as you can see, this knife do his job. Of course, it's not a chef knife, but uh, for eating it's absolutely enough. And uh, I hope you like this little project. Next Friday I show you how to carve such a fork and uh, thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye!